Yo, what is up guys? My name is Kubalicious. I am a competitive Mortal Kombat player from Western New York. Um, I have been competing in Mortal Kombat since 2011. Um, I've won multiple majors in Mortal Kombat 9, which was my first competitive game. I won the Coliseum Finale online in Mortal Kombat 11, and I also placed third in the North American Pro Competition online circuit finale. Um, my goals for MK1, I just basically I want to do as best as I can in this game. Um, I have some free time to study the game a lot, to play a lot. This game's super enjoyable. Um, I have fun playing it every day, and I play lots of different characters, so... I'm just looking forward to putting in work and hopefully getting somewhere in this game. Alright, so for today's video, we are going to be going over Johnny Cage. Uh, this will be the general overview of Johnny Cage's moves and whatnot. Um, so I'll try to go over these as fast as possible. Um, keep it short and sweet. Uh, so he's got his 1-1-2 one, one, string, which is this right here. It's minus 5. It's pretty good. Um, he's also got 1-1-4, one, one, plus 7 on block. But your opponent can interrupt in between the 1 1 and the 4. I typically don't do either one of those combo strings. Instead, I stop it at the 1 1 when I'm staggering because it's plus 3, which guarantees your forward 3 2 mid, which starts up at 9 frames. There's also forward 1 2 3, which is a 9 frame advancing high. You use it to get in on your opponent. Forward 1 2 3, it ends in a low, so it gives you uh, a safe safe move on block and allows you to uh, back up because there's some pushback and then you also have forward 2-4 which is an overhead combo starter um typically don't want to do this on block you want to do this when you react to seeing your opponent getting hit by forward 1-2 and uh you just do the forward 1-2-4 to go into the combo launcher it's one of his better meterless combo starters he's got 2-1-2 which is probably the best meterless combo starter uh ends in overhead um, you can also do 2144, which is low overhead, and you kind of mix up in between these two. Or you do like the overhead, and then if you get your opponent scared, you can go for grab. Or start your plus pressure loop. Now, Johnny Cage is kind of unique because he's got the fastest movement in the game, and I believe he is probably the best rushdown character in the game, so he's basically all rushdown. Use your plus moves. Use the plus moves to your advantage so you can go for your fast mids. And if your opponent is mashing, you get combos off your fast mids. Um, so to continue through the moves, he's got back two. I see people use this in hype combos. I don't really use it often. I actually don't even use it at all. So um, I'm not sure really what to do with it, but I don't really use it. So that's just me. Um, if you hold it all the way down, they go into a stun state and you can get a combo. He's got stand 3-3. Three, three. Uh, this doesn't really convert into a combo, so I never use it. I find no use for it, so that's just me. He's got back 3, which is a combo launcher. Uh, or extender off of a different combo. So you can extend or launch with it. Either one. It's a decent move, but it's punishable on blocks, so be careful with when you throw it out. He's got forward 3-2-1, which is his best mid attack for starting a combo and in order to convert into the combo you have to go into his enhanced uppercut which is down back ex down back three which i'll go over that later um <clears throat> he's got forward three four which is okay it's mid overhead but your opponent can armor in between the attacks and your minus six which means you basically give up your turn right after you do it um i don't really do it often you only do it as a combo extender and that's about it he's got four four it's plus 15 on block, but your opponent can interrupt in between the attacks. So I don't think it's really that good, just because they can interrupt to get a full combo on you, so I never use it. And he's got his forward four, which is an overhead. It's really slow, people can react to it. I don't really find a use for it. You can just throw it in just to see if your opponent can block it. Um, but I don't really think it's uh, gonna be used like in high level play. And let's talk about his pokes. So he's got six frame down one. Goes really far, has really good range, and it's only minus 8, which is like one of the better recoveries in the game. Um, definitely super good for interrupting pressure and can punish certain strings that are minus 7. And if you punish it with the poke, you basically get free pressure. He's got down 3, which is a long range 9 frame poke. Um, I use it to get in on my opponent, and since he's got the fastest movement in the game, um, you can use this to kind of like creep your way in. And if your opponent's like ducking under your forward 1, which is a good advancing move, you can start dashing him down three. He's got down four, which is a little bit further range than down three. It's 10 frames, so it's slightly slower, but not that much. It's only minus six. And uh, he's got 
back four, which is zero on block, super good, and there's pushback. So I think that's one of his better moves too. Um, but yeah, those are all of his normal strings. Let's go over his specials. He's got back down one, which is a nut punch. Uh, I use it as a combo ender. With the nut punch, you could get a jump in after. I was holding block on accident. You can get a jump in after. And if they do a wake up armor attack, that jump in plus your combo string breaks the armor attack. Uh, depending on how slow the armor attack is. So if it's super slow, you have a better chance of breaking it. Um, you can do amplified nut punch, which stands them up. That can be good in certain scenarios, so you can combo off of with your cameo. Uh, you got down back one, which is a parry. So if your opponent attacks you, then the parry can basically get you out the way. And you can get a punish if you time it right, or if you can get there in time. You can't always get the punish, but it's pretty good in that aspect. Um, the amplified parry, I think, can punish certain things a little bit better. Um... I haven't tested with it too much, but apparently it's supposed to be slightly better than the normal parry because the normal parry is susceptible to low attacks and jumping attacks. <clears throat> His forward down back two doesn't really look like much, um, but one unique thing about Johnny Cage is he has this thing called a hype meter, which is on the bottom left, and when you do certain special moves and you press L2 after they're done, he does a taunt, which builds him hype. So if you do this and you press the stance switch, I believe, is L2 for me. Um, the stance switch will allow you to basically build up your hype meter, and um, when you have your hype meter full, you could do forward, down, back, four, and this will allow you to special cancel special moves into other special moves, and you get up to three special moves, I think, consecutive special moves, before like it doesn't allow you to do it anymore. Um, so that's that's kind of like the unique thing about Johnny Cage. He gives them lots of meter, builds them lots of uh, builds them lots of meter, gets some pretty high combo damage, and that's kind of one of his game plans is to build hype. You can do it with the nut punch, and also if you hit your opponent with a shadow kick, you also build hype. Um, his down back three is his combo starter when you amplify it. The normal version doesn't do anything but hit your opponent but the amplified version allows you to get an attack in the air and you can follow up with a combo afterwards his down forward three is a command dash it goes through your opponent and their moves sometimes but if your opponent times their attack they can they can uh interrupt you and punish you for it so you got to be careful one of the reasons why i think this move is pretty decent is because you can do things like this to get out of the corner so if my back was in the corner i'm basically out and now my opponent has to work their way out and it's pretty much for free especially if you use a cameo so i think it's a super good move you have his back forward four if you amplify it it absorbs a hit, a hit and it has armor on it and it's extremely fast too so if your opponent throws out a projectile you can duck it from this distance and then probably punish it with back forward four depending on the projectile and um super good uh, it's a high attack so they can't duck it so just be careful throwing it out too much they can duck it and then get a combo on you uh and then we have four down back four which i mentioned before um is your taunt and it also activates your hype mode and just to kind of also let you know because i don't think i mentioned this before if you do ex nut punch the ex nut punch has invincibility so an application for this is because it has invincibility you're not going to absorb any damage so if you can't if you can't afford to absorb damage you could throw an ex nut punch to get through your opponent's pressure. And on top of that, you could link it into a cameo and then continue a combo after that. So it's pretty good. It's basically an invincible launcher for two bars a meter with cameo. It's kind of expensive. You only want to use it in specific scenarios, but yeah, it's pretty good, I'd say. And I pretty much use it for interrupting my opponent whenever I can. All right, so now we are going to go over a little bit more in depth of Johnny Cage. So pretty much his offense is basically based around his plus frame. So when I was talking about the plus frame moves in the normals section, um, you basically want to use a lot of the plus frames, like throw them out a lot, get your opponent to try to like react to the plus frames, because obviously your opponent's not going to want to sit there and block everything forever. You want to utilize the plus frames so you can go for your forward 3-2, when you know they're gonna try to poke out or just continue the combo string if you're doing something such as like 2-1-2. And that's pretty much how you open up your opponent. You use lots of plus frame pressure to just get them to commit to like try to mash out. And then you go for your mid. 
Uh, that's basically like all Johnny Cages in this game. You do that. Um, you go for throws a lot while you're doing your plus pressure. And if you go for enough throws, get them antsy, you go for your mids, and you pretty much get them a full combo. And the cameo that I have right now um, that I think is probably his best cameo is Cyrax. Uh, Cyrax is really good because Cyrax allows you to continue pressure looping after certain moves. So for instance, like if you throw out an uppercut, it's normally punishable, but if you throw out an uppercut and call out Cyrax while you're pressuring, Cyrax will not only keep you safe while doing the uppercut, but allow you to get more pressure. And that's basically what you wanna go for when you're playing Johnny Cage. You wanna go for something to give you a chance to call out your Cyrax, and then the Cyrax keeps you safe and you can pressure even more. Um, so I'll go over real briefly like why I think Cyrax is like really good of Johnny Cage. Uh, Cyrax has this net that's like super good. Um, you can even do it up close and it's still plus on block. And the further away you get from your opponent, the more plus it is. So it gives you an opportunity to go for taunts the further you are from your opponent. So if you're all the way back here, you go for the Cyrax net to, to do the taunt. It basically builds you free hype meter. And on top of that, if your opponent is zoning you and you use Cyrax to counter zone, that net can combo your opponent for super long. I mean, you can like go do whatever you can get up, go to a bathroom break, and then come all the way back to just get a combo on them. And they're they're stuck in that net for a long time. So the net's really useful in that sense. Um, Cyrex has this horizontal helicopter move, which allows you to get combos. Uh, I showed in the special in the normals section. You can get an EX nut punch, go into Cyrex to get a combo, and. Um, that's really useful. Uh, it's really good for breaking out of pressure and getting a combo on your opponent. Um, another good Cyrax move is the horizontal helicopter. So if you end a combo in Nut Punch, you just tap the cameo button and he does the horizontal helicopter. Um, I'm not amazing with the combos yet. Um, I'm still practicing the timing so I can get all the kicks and everything in when I do the Cyrax. But um, it's pretty it's pretty good. Um, he gets lots of damage when you do the horizontal or the vertical one. And uh, you pretty much use it whenever you end a combo in a normal nut punch. You can get just additional damage by doing this, jumping in the air, and doing your combo by doing jump 2 4 4, by the way. Um, I'm trying to think. S Cyrax has this bomb move, which, in my opinion, is not that great. I haven't found any use for it yet. I don't really think Johnny can really utilize it very well. I don't see how he could utilize it very well. Um, so I personally haven't found anything yet, but um, yeah, there's definitely more to be explored in that department. And I think the last thing I want to go over of Cyrax is his throw. So when you do a forward throw, you always utilize cameos. Cyrax's forward throw is unique because if you meter burn it, you spend two bars of meter, you get a whole combo launch, and the combo just gets you tons and tons of damage off that. Or not tons and tons of damage, I'm sorry, but you get at least like... 22%, which is huge for a throw. Throws usually only do about like 10 to maybe at most 14%. And the fact that you have a 22% throw of Cyrax is actually insane. Um, just absolutely crazy. And on top of that, you get free wake up pressure because you get the jump and punch. So um, basically with Johnny Cage, you wanna do your pressure into plus frames, end your combos in normal nut punch so you can get jump in meaties. And jump in meaties for the most part stuff armor attacks, and then you use Cyrax to pretty much keep you safe. Um, so that's pretty much the game plan and offense of Johnny Cage. You also want to utilize your throws, all the whole, the whole, uh, the whole package and stuff of Cyrax. So just make sure you utilize everything. And um, I want to talk over strengths and weaknesses before I do some combos. So I think um, one thing Johnny is really good at is just movement. Um, he's got easily the best movement in the game, and. He's, he's got really fast punishes, he's got like really good armor attacks, um, and he's just incredibly fast. He's got plus frames on plus frames on plus frames, easily the best mid in the game that hit confirms into a whole combo. Um, I personally think like Johnny does amazing everywhere on the screen, and I think just simply because of the fact that he moves the fastest, nobody moves faster than Johnny. So it's like... No one's gonna be able to keep up with you as long as your movement's on point and you're not overextending. And as long as you don't overextend, and as long as there's no crazy polarizing matchups, which I don't think there is, especially since Cyrex can help counter zone with the net, I don't really see Johnny really having a problem with any character um, in the cast. I mean, 
He's got Shadow Kick, which punishes. Um, he's got his Pressure Loops, which you could just kind of like enforce on your opponent like the entire time. And then you just go for your 20% throws, your combos, and I just think he's incredibly good. Um, just amazing up close. I mean, the only thing I could possibly, possibly, possibly think of is someone that just outzones them 24-7. Maybe someone like Rain or just any character with a, a cameo that allows them to sit back and throw projectiles. Which, at the end of the day, it's not too big of a deal because Johnny Cage can use Cyrax to try to counter that. And on top of that, he's got an extremely fast Shadow Kick. So he's, he's pretty good at punishing stuff for the most part. Okay, so I want to take a little bit of time to just go over some of Johnny Cage's better cameos, in my opinion. Um, I did majority of this video of Cyrax. I do truly believe Cyrax is the best cameo with Johnny Cage, so I'll go over uh, real fast why I think Cyrax is the best and some of his uh, cameo moves. Okay, so what makes Cyrax, in my humble opinion, the best cameo of Johnny Cage is the fact that Cyrax has these horizontal attacks so this is just pressing and holding the cameo button down he does this horizontal attack uh this allows you to get extra pressure of johnny cage uh, one thing that's really good of johnny cage and in my opinion what makes cameos really good of johnny cage is the ability to allow johnny cage to loop his pressure johnny cage is the best rushdown character in this game a lot of his attacks are plus on block and with timed correctly with the cameo it allows you to Pretty much jail into free pressure after you do a cameo attack so you could basically do this into cyrax cameo and then just continue pressure looping after that i think that's what makes cyrax the best cameo with johnny the fact that he can basically allow johnny to loop his pressure twice before the cameo meter builds up again or before uh yeah basically before the cameo meter builds up again and it just allows you to continue pressure and doing like whatever you want with johnny up close um, really good, uh, super oppressive. People are gonna get anxious after a while, and then once you check them, you get a full combo. Uh, Cyrex also has back cameo attack, which is the Cyrex net. Now, the Cyrex net is really good because it is plus on block from up close, and the further you get away, the more plus it is, the more block stun they have to take, which allows you to either get a free taunt, or allows you to rush your opponent down or do something, get in their face, throw out a special move. Pretty good, and also if your opponent is zoning you out, you just use Cyrax, and um, if you trade with one of their projectiles, you get a free combo. And um, it's also really good because if it hits your opponent, you could literally walk across the screen, do whatever you want, get a full combo, and they can't move. So, really good, I think it's Easily his best cameo. I know I probably said that multiple times at this point, but I think it's super good. Um, and also, he allows you to get extra damage in some of the combos. So this is just one example. So you get 39%. That's super, super good. Um, just allows you to put extra damage on the table so that uh, if they have, let's say, like perfectly 40% health, you throw that out at the end of your combo. And pretty much their chip health away from death. Cyrex has another cameo attack, which is the Cyrex Bomb. I personally don't like it. I don't really know what you would use it for. The Cyrex Bomb does hurt both you and the opponent, so you gotta be careful when setting it up, because if you're too close to it, you pretty much have to either block the mid or, or do something. I mean, I don't know what kind of setups you could really do with it. I haven't really tested, tested it out too much. I haven't found a use for it, but maybe someone else can. So a common theme with Johnny Cage is utilizing cameos that allow him to loop his pressure over and over and over again. Uh, not only do they allow him to loop his pressure, but they allow Johnny to either get in on a zoner, just get in for free, basically apply more, more of his up close pressure. Um, that's basically the idea behind the cameos when you're going to choose them. You either want that, <clears throat> or that combined with anti-zoning tools. So the next cameo that comes to mind is Kano. Now Kano is pretty good of Johnny Cage in my humble opinion because Kano has basically like anti-neutral tools. So one of these anti-neutral tools are his Kano knives. They're an ambush attack. So you basically don't have to step out of the way to summon Kano. You could do whatever you want while he's throwing the knives out. 
You can utilize this to rush down your opponent. The knives are high attack, so they can duck it. So while they're ducking, they could do pokes, they could do an uppercut underneath it, etc. Um, basically to hold their own. <laughs> so basically what this does is it keeps them still for a second. They either have to mash or they have to just sit there and block. And if they mash, you can run up to them, time their poke right. Let's say you think they're gonna poke, you wait for the poke to whiff, and then you just go for a full combo. So it's really good in util like utilizing like anti-neutral setups. Uh, you could also do stuff like sh like Shadow Kick, followed by Kano Knives. So if your opponent tries to punish you and they don't see Kano, uh, by the time they start hitting you, the Kano Knives will hit them back, and then you can go for a full combo. Um, so it's, it's really good. Here, I'll, I'll actually show you an example of this right now. So like, let's say I see the Johnny Cage. Oh, I'm going to punish. Boom. And just like that, Johnny Cage is comboing me. So that's probably one of the best applications with the Kano Knives, is being able to just throw out the Kano Knives, and then once you throw out the Kano Knives, well actually no, what you want to do is you want to do Shadow Kick and then Kano Knives, which is back cameo attack. So the moment you do Shadow Kick, like literally the moment you do Shadow Kick, you want to do the back cameo Knives. It's like, it's almost like you're doing it like in a combo sequence. You just do Shadow Kick, Kano Knives, and then the Kano Knives should come out like right after. Another good application of using Kano is his Kano Ball because it's essentially another anti-neutral tool. You use Kano Ball, throw out Shadow Kick, the Kano Ball will hit them and they either have to block the Kano Ball or they eat the Kano Ball. Either way, it basically allows you to like get in for free, do whatever you want. Um, Kano Ball is also really good because similar to the helicopter move of Cyrax, it allows you to loop Johnny Cage's pressure. And when you loop the pressure like that, you're, you're basically gaining meter, doing chip damage. And just like that, you build a whole bar of meter. Uh, you do about hmm, a little bit more than 10% chip or more than 100 damage of chip. And uh, basically each Kano Ball allows you to loop Johnny Cage's pressure again. And uh, yeah, it's super good, um, I think. This is his second best cameo. Uh, I'll actually go over the third cameo attack of Kano real quick. I don't think it's really good. It's just cameo attack. So Kano ball is forward cameo attack. Uh, you want to time the Kano ball. Sometimes when I do this pressure specifically, I call the Kano ball out early because you can actually hold the Kano ball if you hold R1. And if you look at the cameo meter on the top, you see like there's a timer to it. So you can basically hold the Kano ball down and release it when you know it, it's the right time to release it. So basically what I'll do is I'll do the whole attack and then you just basically let go of Kano ball right as Johnny is about to land on the ground. And that's basically how, do you, how you utilize Kano. Um, this laser move isn't really that good. Um, I guess it punishes a couple things from like full screen, but in my opinion, I don't think it's a great move. It's super punishable on block, and literally every time I see uh, K like someone who's using Kano use that move, it's always on accident. I've never really seen like a good application for this move, so just be aware that that move is there, and you got to be careful using it because it is full combo punishable, and um, your opponent can basically get whatever they want for free afterwards. So. Definitely be really careful with this move. All right, so we went over Johnny Cyrax and Johnny Kano. Um, in my opinion, I think those are two of the best cameos of Johnny by far. I don't really see any other cameo coming close to either of these two, but I do want to give an honorable mention to one more cameo. And maybe like, I don't know how to explain this, but maybe like a, an even smaller honorable mention to Kung Lao. Now, I'm not going to really go over Kung Lao that much because I personally don't like Kung Lao with Johnny Cage. I think he's one of the the not so great cameos of Johnny. Um, there actually has to be more testing with that though because I have seen like crazy nut punch combos with Kung Lao and Johnny. Um, but I haven't really put them into practice or utilized them much. But I think Kung Lao is decent. I mean, he, he has the low hat projectile which allows you to zone back because Johnny Cage doesn't have any projectiles, and um, 
yeah, it kind of gives you like a zoning tool essentially. So basically you can get to like an end game scenario and use Kung Lao hats to zone your opponent out and your opponent is forced to come and pressure you. But if they're forced to come and pressure you, you can pressure them back. Obviously you don't want to be in Johnny's face. So it's just kind of like another, uh, another way of enforcing your opponent to have to fight you up close. But we'll go over Sub-Zero. Um, I think this is his next best honorable mention. And I think just in general, probably, maybe not his third best. It could be his third best. It could not be. But I definitely think it's something to consider. All right, so we got Johnny Sub-Zero. Uh, Sub-Zero has some pretty decent cameo moves. Uh, if you just tap the cameo button, Sub-Zero does this thing where he puts an ice coat on you. And this makes you completely invincible to projectile attacks so i'll show you real quick so we have smoke throwing these serena knives and we have sub-zero putting the ice coat on johnny and as you see johnny's not affected by the serena knives so you can do stuff like this and then start basically punishing your opponent for throwing any sort of projectile at you that's probably the best reason to use the sub-zero cameo and probably like the number one reason to use it i personally think sub-zero just the fact that he nullifies zoning makes him so good and especially with the best rushdown character in the game i mean you can't really go wrong with that because nobody's trying to fight you up close anyways and the moment you put that on you legit are invincible to every projectile you can punish any projectile if you make a good read and i just think in general it's a really really good move i mean I don't want to say it's underrated because everybody kind of knows that Sub-Zero cameo ice coating is super good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's solid with Johnny. Um, if you're willing to sacrifice the ambush attacks that Cyrax and Kano has that allows you to loop Johnny Cage's pressure, it might be worth it. Maybe if there's a, a bad zoning matchup, I would suggest using the ice coat to get around stuff. Now, his other cameo attacks are pretty solid as well. He's got back cameo attack, which is like this ice shoulder. The ice shoulder is safe on block. So although you don't really get the loop pressures like you did with Kano and Cyrax, the, this shoulder allows you to at least do something up close and either gives you space to do whatever you want or just keeps you safe in general. Um, like I mentioned, there's no like looping pressure of Sub-Zero. So you just kind of like do this and then you do whatever you want after. You could dash in like how I just did. You could start to dash out, get your space, try to like figure out a way to get in again. Um, but it's pretty solid. Um, it's just nice to like kind of push your opponent away and do whatever you want after. Now, Sub-Zero has this cameo attack, which is a launcher. Now, you can use this to combo off certain moves, go into the launch, and then continue the combo, which is alright. Um, like, I, like I mentioned prior to this, uh, you do give up certain ambush attacks that allow you to loop pressure um, just to like, utilize Sub-Zero. So the fact that he doesn't really get that much damage off this is kind of concerning, but it's not terrible because it does do more damage than your standard combo. So like this is with the Sub-Zero cameo and um, oh, I actually can't even use forward three, two, unless I amplify it. But basically, I personally don't think it's worth giving up your combo extensions of Cyrax and Kano to get the Sub-Zero freeze. Um, but it is kind of nice because you could do moves like this into Sub-Zero freeze and get more damage But overall, I mean, I think it's okay. I mean, I don't think, I don't think it's too crazy. I do think that cameos should probably be explored a little bit more before like discussing like basically how well they all like are incorporated with every character. Um, but I think Sub Zero is a decent honorable mention, just for the fact that he gives you a combo launch off of uh, a lot of your moves. And the fact that he's allow you, he allows you to get safe pressure with his shoulder. Uh, if they were blocking, they'd, they'd block that, but yeah. And um, yeah, I think he's solid, you know, anti-zoning techniques. 
I think it's really good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for the cameos. Um, I'd only ever use Cyrax, Kano, and Sub for basically the reasons I mentioned. Uh, just anti-zoning properties and just more oppressive pressure. So I think the general idea of Johnny Cage when you utilize cameos is to use cameos that apply lots of extra pressure and they just basically allow you to loop your stuff. Um, Johnny Cage is the best up close character in the game so obviously you want to enforce your up close game as much as you possibly can and that's what I look for when I choose my cameo. All right, so this is going to be the combo section of the video. Um, I just wanted to give you guys um, something to note at the beginning. I'm going to end a lot of combos into normal nut punch, into the cameo attack, I actually used the wrong one, but just normal nut punch into a cameo. And the reason why you do this is just for extra damage. You can always end in nut punch and then get your jump in for meaty. Um, it breaks a decent amount of armor in the game. I don't know if it breaks all armor, but um, you basically use the nut punch so you get free follow-ups. Or if you want your extra damage, like I said, you just do the cameo, which is like what I'm going to show you guys throughout a lot of these combos. So first combo, 2-1-2, two, two, you use it while pressuring your opponent, or you use it as a punish. Next combo, forward one, two, four, you use this while you're in neutral or you use it when um, you're trying to punish someone. So you're in neutral and boom. Now, forward one, two, four, I wanna give you uh, just uh, something to think about. That combo with the cameo does a, a lot less damage than like a lot less extra damage than all the other combos do, so just keep that in mind. This next one, forward three, two, uh, you're using it to either interrupt your opponent's negative frames or to check them for trying to mash out of your plus frames, or even to like with punish at times. Now this next one is forward one two, except for instead of ending it in the overhead, which actually does a lot less damage than this version, we are going to do forward one two into EX uppercut, which grants us a ton of damage. So check this out. Use this in with punishing. Same application as the other forward one two four combo. Now we got stand one one. You can use this as a punish tool, or if you're backing up from someone and they barely miss their move, but you kind of react last second, you could use stand one one since it's as fast as jab string to get a full combo punish on super 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 close whiffs. So just keep that in mind, or you can use it for interrupting. This is going to be the forward throw, so when you got your opponent respecting and they're blocking, you go for your forward throw, amplified. Now this is going to be basically a get off me tool. Like I mentioned before, your EX Nut Punch has invincibility, and when timed with a cameo attack, you can actually get a full combo off it. So this is a get off me, invincible um, interruption tool to get a full combo. I'm going to show you guys a hype combo. Um, this is just a simple version of how I do my hype combo. You could pretty much get a hype combo at any moment, um, as long as you can combo into the hype nut punches, um, if you can keep them standing. But here's my simple version of a hype combo. I haven't really tested too much of the hype combos. There's a lot more to be explored. I've, I've even seen double hype combos, but here's a little basic understanding of like how I go about my hype combos. And that is it for today. So this is the Johnny Cage character guide. Uh, huge shout outs to Dash Fight for allowing me to be the Johnny Cage representative um, for the character guide. Uh, you could check out all things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. 
If you liked the video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thank you for watching and good luck everybody.